the melody coming from Krishna's flute. Can you hear it? No? Right, they say only a few fortunate souls can hear the melody. And it takes even greater fortune to be a part of his Rasita. <laughs> I was one of them. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Vishaka. Namaste. I am a daughter of a boatman and a gopika of Vrindavan. Besides washing clothes, churning butter and collecting water in pots, we were captivated by dancing and losing ourselves to the musical notes of Krishna's flute. It was so enchanting that we would lose ourselves and sway to those magical notes. You know, there's a story which goes back to a certain evening, a full moon night, when me and some of my friends from the village gathered around the banks of River Yamuna. We started to think and have it, but throwing water and sand into each other. After some time, when Krishna saw this, he took out his note and started to His play was so enchanting that all of us gathered around him and danced and danced and danced and danced almost half the night. The word ras indicates passion. So this was the dance of passion. The fragrance of the sun spread. People came to know that a full moon night at midnight this dance happened. Shiva, the divine cosmic dancer, learned about this fantastic dance that took place on the banks of River Yamuna. He explored that people would achieve a state of transcendence by losing themselves to the music. As the Lord of Dance, Shiva was deeply intrigued that his devotee, this little boy Krishna, was sending people to transcendental states simply through his flute playing and dancing. Eager to witness this extraordinary event, Shiva decided to witness it for himself. He walked down from the Himalayas and crossed the river Yamuna with the help of a boatman. Do you know who the boatman was? <laughs> he was my father. I told him I'm a proud daughter of a boatman and a boatman of Vrindavan. So the Almighty told my father, Take me across to Vrindavan and would you see Krishna's Ras? He replied, You can't go to the Ras like this. When you go to the Ras, Krishna is the only man and everyone else a woman. But the Ras was in full swing and Shiva was eager to go there. So hesitantly, my father suggested, If you must go to the Ras, you must wear clean clothing. I will ask my wife to lend her clothes to you. You can wear them and go. Without any hesitation, Shiva agreed to borrow clothes from my mother and transformed himself into a Gopika. As he approached the banks of River Yamuna, the sound of Krishna's flute grew more and more pleasant. 